Hello, hello, hello. I just got a new book to do practical data science. Practical deep learning for cloud, mobile and edge, real-world AI and computer vision project using Python, Keras and TensorFlow. The name that tells you itself what is inside the practical book. Firstly, this book published in October of 2019 by three authors, Anirudh, Kul, Sita, Ganyu and Meher Kassam. Sorry if I spelled those names incorrectly. When I get a new book, I always take a look first at the table of content. So what I see there? 17 chapters and one appendix. Again, 17. 17 very detailed and full of practical business and theoretical knowledge chapters. In my personal opinion, this book contained of material that is like 40% of your business language, 40% of technical materials and rest 20% of some theoretical knowledge. In my real project, I combined this book together with a head on machine learning and Keras book if we need more theoretical explanation on specific topics. Please check my channel to have a review for this book. So what this book book dedicated for, for everybody, for everybody of you if you have some knowledge at Python as practical user. There are five classes that this book is oriented to, to backend frontend mobile software developer, to the data scientist, to student, to teacher and to the robotic enthusiast. Shortly about each chapter. Chapter number one, exploring the landscape of artificial intelligence. That is logical to start your journey to this book. Chapter number two, image classification with Keras. You will learn how to make image classification in Keras in a very efficient way, then learn what is neural network and paying attention uh, to make predictions by overlaying heat maps on videos. Great, yeah? Chapter number 3. Cats vs Dogs. Transfer learning in 30 lines with Keras. You will use transfer learning to reuse a previously trained network on a new custom classification task. Along the way, you will build common machine learning pipeline. Chapter number 4. Building a reverse image search engine. Understanding a embedding like Google reverse image, you will explore how one can use embedding, a contextual representation of image to find similar image in under the 10 lines. You will explore different strategies and approaches. Chapter number 5. Maximizing convolutional neural network accuracy. You will explore strategies to maximize the accuracy that every classifier can achieve with TensorBoard, TensorFlow datasets, AutoCaris and AutoAugment. Chapter number 6. Maximizing speed and performance of TensorFlow. and handy checklist. This chapter about how to maximize performance of your current hardware. Chapter number 7. Practical tools, tips and tricks. You will diversify practical skills in a variety of topics and tools ranging from installation, data collection, experiment management, visualization and keeping track of state-of-art research all the way to exploring the further avenues for building the theoretical foundation of deep learning. Chapter number 8. Cloud APIs for computer vision up and running in 15 minutes. Work smart, not hard. You will ut utilize the power of cloud AI platforms from Google, Microsoft, Amazon, IBM in under 15 minutes. Chapter number 9. Scalable inference serving on cloud with TensorFlow serving and Cooperflow. You will take your custom trained model to the cloud to scale serve from hundreds to millions of requests. You will explore Flask, Google Cloud ML Engine, TensorFlow serving and Cooperflow. Chapter number 10. AI and browser with TensorFlow and ML5 JavaScript libraries. This is a very useful and specific chapter that introduces you to mobile application specific guest based deep learning libraries to do this magic. You will explore techniques that estimate body poses, generate adversarial network GANs, image to image translation and more running not on server but on browser itself. Chapter number 11. Real-time object classification with iOS with Core ML. You will explore the landscape of deep learning on mobile with sharp focus on the Apple ecosystem with Core ML. Enjoy with that. Chapter number 12. Knock hot dog on iOS with Core ML and Create ML. You will create a mobile AI apps that will like a hello world in mobile AI and you will do it in three different ways. Chapter number 13. Shazam for food. Developing Android apps with TensorFlow Lite and MLKit. You will bring AI to Android with the help of TensorFlow Lite and MLKit. 
You will look at the model versioning, A-B testing, measuring success dynamic updates, model optimization and other topics. Chapter number 14. Building the perfect cat locator app with TensorFlow Object Detection API. You will explore four different methods for locating the position for objects within images. You will build the base for case studies with such as crowd counting, face detection and autonomous cars. Chapter number 15. Becoming a maker. Exploring embedding AI at the edge. You will open the doors for robotics and maker projects. You will explore hardware devices for AI with varying processing power and cost including Raspberry Pi, Nvidia, Google Corel, Intel Movidus and others. Chapter number 16. Simulating a self-driving car using end-to-end -end deep learning with Keras. You will be guided in training, virtual environment and you will be driving uh, firstly in the environment and then teaching an AI model to replicate the behavior. Along the chapter you will cover a number of concepts that are applicable in the self-driving cars industry. Chapter number 17. This is the last one. Building an autonomous cars in under an hour. Reinforcement learning with AWS DeepRacer. You will be instructed how to use AWS DeepRacer and how the car can be trained, assembled and raced in under the hour by reinforcement learning technique. The car will learn itself by penalizing mistakes and maximizing success. Important thing, this book has its GitHub, so you will can use project real life codes in your project for the business of for our portfolio. I give for this book 10 of 10 and highly recommend to advanced users of data science. Just choose the topic you want to create something special and go on. Remember, this book is not for teach you full technical details. This book is like a bridge that brings you from just technical guy to business data scientist person who see and understand the full picture of data science, deep learning and the business needs including programming, cloud technology, mobile industry and of course data science. That's all from me today. Enjoy reading, enjoy learning and see you on the next videos. Bye bye.